All right, I was waiting on the glue to dry for that. I'm gonna set up for the pocket holes. Now I'm gonna put the pocket holes on the front brace facing the sides to give it more, to give it a little more support. So you're not pulling against the screw, you're actually pulling halfway in the screw and it's more of a shear action than a pull action. So when you're setting these up, I have this marked at an inch and a half and all of them. So I know not to go below that. That way I don't run a pocket screw into where my groove is going to go for the bottom. Walking by where I got my blade set up and just barely nicked it and cut the hell out of myself. Shop wounds, good times. Always good to have a uh, fully stocked band-aid package. Okay, back to work. All right, got my dado blade set up. Um, it's a half inch high and this is only three eighths inch deep now the board or the plywood is three quarter But I can make multiple passes instead of trying to dial in the Dado blade exactly to make one pass. That's a pain in the ass and takes a lot of time Under the drawer, kind of mounted. Um, normally, you would do this a little different than I'm doing it. One, I'm, I'm doing it this way so you can see really how it works. And and I'm going to have an offset here. Normally, you'd mount it flush up against the face, but mine's going back just a little bit due to the dimensions of this cabinet. Um, 16s would have worked okay with still some modifications these are 15 inch all of them and um, 18 is too big they didn't have 16 so anyway we're, we're modifying just a hair so as you can see this part here slides under or over depending on how you want to look at it the actual hinge or the slide portion and you get that lined up as so I 
like I said, normally these these two holes right here, this front of this bracket would butt up to the face of the drawer. But you know, as as like everything else, modification is okay. So gonna get that lined up and I have this little clasp about halfway. And then I'm gonna use these holes to secure it. Maybe. Oh, it's in the wrong spot. Now, this is cool because it has a bunch of adjustments. This little lever here raises it up and down if you need it. Um, this is how you push that in and it slides out. Bunch, I'm mean, just a bunch of adjustments. This goes left and right. Um, my other, my other set doesn't have as many adjustments, but that's what it is. You do want to make sure this is square and goes in nice and easy. See if you can see it work. Well, that's all there is. They're not near as they're not near as um, finicky as say side mounts. You do have to consider this little stop. This is what catches to make the little mechanism in there catch it and pull it back. You want to make sure you're on top of that. So measure from there to there to get the difference in your slide. Hi! Alright, so I didn't get the face frames built. Um, I don't really know how I want those to look yet, so I hadn't done that. As soon as I figure that out and start the base, that's what I'll do on the next video on this part. Before I catch any grief for using pocket holes, they're very strong. Um, going to be more than adequate for, for the plywood construction on the drawers. And you're not going to see them, so, so don't give me any lip, damn it. So, hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and uh, leave a comment. Have a wonderful day.